Hey guys, this is Comic Uno, and we are talking about Arrow, Heir to the Demon. Uh, and <laughs> this was a really, really crazy episode. Uh, this is actually centered on the Lances, so we actually get flashbacks of the Lance family instead of the island. Um, and Sarah comes back. She comes back, of course, from, from last episode where Laurel uh, gets drugged, actually, from snake venom. And a big villain comes to town, uh, Nissa who is the daughter of Ra's al Ghul. So we get to see Nyssa and Sarah have a thing for each other. They actually loved each other once, and so they have a thing, so it's more than just business um, in this episode. And Nyssa says, hey, Sarah, come back to the League. Uh, and Sarah's like, no, I don't want to kill any more people. So Nyssa doesn't accept that and kidnaps uh, Sarah's mother. So they have a big fight, arrows in between all this also, and... Uh, Nissa seems like she she does get defeated and she starts praying. So was she gonna kill herself? We'll talk about that as the review goes on. Um, yeah, so the Lance family's reunited and Laurel was a bitch and she's like, Sarah gets everything. She's back and everyone cares for her and you ruined my life. Uh, why couldn't you tell us you were still alive? Uh, she does not give a shit. She drinks a little bit more and throws a glass at Sarah, and Sarah starts crying, um, goes to Oliver, and says, I'm here. I'm going to stay here. This is my home. So now Sarah, I guess, is officially part of the Arrow team, which uh, I think is totally best for the show, because I, I think the best episodes really were when Black Canary was in the present time. I think she adds another dynamic to the show. Uh, so really glad that Sarah's in present time. And another story going on, which is actually a big story also, is that Moya, she's running for, uh, running for mayor, and secrets get revealed. Felicity actually finds out that, Felicity, out of all the people, find out that uh, the Thea secret, that Thea is actually the daughter, daughter of Malcolm. So Felicity does tell Oliver, because Oliver says, you know, what's wrong? I know something's bothering you. And Oliver actually goes on Felicity's side and tells Moria that you're my mother, I will stay by your side in the public, but you know in private, I hate you. You're not my mother in private. Um, because you never told me this and you were lying. That's all episode. Uh, so let's get the whole Moria story out of, out of the picture right now. Um, or at least get it out of the way. Um, the Moria story is actually pretty interesting. Getting her to have her own story arc, um, I think is important, uh, because she is a character that could be forgettable if you don't develop her a little bit more, and, uh, she's someone that does need development. And, uh, with this episode in general, we get to see a really great parallel between the Queen family and the Lance family, and how, obviously, both family keep secrets in different ways. Uh, one's decisive, and the other's was a loving family that just kind of got broken in the end. Uh, so it's really interesting to see that parallel because the show's not just the Queen family, it is the Lance family also, and I, I think this episode definitely reminds us of that. Um, and the one funny thing is that, you know, this whole secret between Thea and Malcolm, it's affecting everyone else except Thea. Um, I think it's kind of weird that Thea is the one that hasn't found out yet. Um, and I think uh, Thea should find out because that will develop her character and I, I say this every review, I think she's sidelined a little bit too much and uh, she is a character that has great potential, has actually some great story to come, uh, but they just keep sidelining her. So uh, even Felicity found out before her. Uh, but if you're a Olicity fan, I think there was a great moment where Oliver doesn't, because Moria is just like, you know, Oliver's going to hate you when uh, you tell him, if you if you tell him. And he didn't hate her. She, he actually confronted her and said, what is wrong? So you just see the strength of that friendship. Uh, and then Olicity fans might be angry at the ending with Sour and Oliver. Um, but yeah, I think there was a good moment there and just show how strong that friendship is. And then having Felicity in other sections just besides the Arrow team, she's um, having a scene with Moria. So it's interesting to see her um, doing other things also. And also had a scene with Walter too. Um, but hopefully we get the Thea thing covered already because I really think she needs to find out out of anybody. But I think they're sidelining that story um, more for the future just because there's so much going on. Now let's get to the craziness of the Lance family. Um, I really, first of all, I'm just going to say this was a great episode. Uh, it, it kept me on the edge of my seat. Uh, there were su surprises, definitely. Um, I, I don't think anything totally shocked me, but this, this, this was definitely um, 
a uh, heart pumping episode because you're like, what's gonna happen next? And it was very tense, especially towards the fighting scenes uh, with Nissa. And the fighting scenes with N Nissa were so creative. Um, and I think Arrow has the best fighting scenes in television right now. That's my opinion, of course. Um, but I love their fighting scenes. And this episode proved it too. Uh, being diverse in an air uh, airport. Uh, then we had two. Uh, you know, archers fighting against each other. I uh, wish we got to see Sarah fight a little bit more also, because I do like her baton fighting. Um, I'm sure we'll see that more in the future, because Black Canary is staying. Um, so I like that. I thought Nissa was actually a really cool character, and uh, I, I do think she's going to kill herself. When she was praying, it was kind of a foreshadowing of the other guy. Uh, so I have a feeling we're going to find out that she did kill herself. I don't know why they didn't show it in this episode, but... Why would she pray if she wasn't going to do that? And that will bring Raz al Ghul for me season 3. So I think that will be an important thing to do. And I think that is something they will do. Uh, but I think it was interesting that they did make Nyssa more personal to Sarah. Because if it wasn't personal, I think it would have been um, a little bit more generic. Uh, even though it's Nyssa. Come on, it's Raz al Ghul. Um, but I think it was just would have been more business-like. And we've seen a lot of those villains already. All the villains really haven't been personal to our heroes. So it was kind of cool to see a more of a personal size. Like, oh yeah, I do like Sarah, but I have to do this because it's League of Assassins and seeing that torn apart. Uh, so I do like that um, element in this episode. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, what else do we got? I, I loved uh, uh, Detective Lance here. I think he's a character that's so underestimated and uh, you can see him as such a great father and a great father figure. So uh, I really like Detective Lance really throughout everything that's been going on with Sarah. Uh, he, he's been a very good father so I like what he's been doing and like she, he's been put on a roller coaster but he's taking the punches here. Uh, and I think it was perfect in this episode how he did it. And then even uh, Sarah's mom and how he, she was very on, um, obviously the side of Detective Lance. It seemed like they're finally going to be a family until we get to see Laurel. You know, we thought we hated Laurel. We might still hate Laurel. Um, you know, I thought this episode, maybe the episodes before, could redeem Laurel's character, and I guess I understand why Laurel um, was so mean to Sarah, uh, but you would think she would have some benefit of doubt for Sarah, where it's like, oh wow, you suffered for six years, maybe a little bit more than me, so maybe I should care for you, maybe I should hug you, or maybe I should be like, I'm sorry, let's just kind of talk this out in the next episode, we have, a, we have to have a long talk. But no, Laurel's just like, uh, let me take a drink, you, you put us through hell, especially me through hell. And yeah, Laurel has gone through some stuff, but not as much as Sarah's gone through. Sarah's life and death here. And I guess Laurel put herself in life and death also, now becoming more in life and death. But she's spiraling down, and I feel bad what they've been doing with Sarah, because will Sarah interact with the Lance family as much because of what happened? I don't know. I think she will interact with her father, and I think she's going to have to interact with Laurel, because you know Laurel gets in all the vigilante mess, and it seems like she knows that... Laurel's the, I mean, uh, Sarah's the Black Canary, and she still doesn't care. She, she still doesn't care. Um, it's like, yeah, you protect this, uh, the, the city, you know, but I'm a lawyer. You screwed me, and I got disbarred. Uh, Laurel, again, was just being very bratty in this episode, and I actually like Laurel a lot more in the flashbacks, and I thought the flashbacks were great here. Um, because usually, sometimes I like the island flashbacks, sometimes I don't, because there's so much in the present that I'm liking more. Uh, but I thought it was a very good parallel with the flashbacks, and it was something different. It made that, the scene of, and really the knowledge of Sarah and Oliver having an affair, a little bit more personal and a little more gut-wrenching. You kind of understand from Laurel's side how much she went through, but and you do feel that the whole madness all over again. Uh, so I thought it was perfect the way they did that. They had to have flashbacks. That was the perfect flashback. And again, it just made this episode even more emotional. Uh, but overall, I I'm really happy Black Canary is going to be a regular, it seems like. She's home to stay, so she's going to be in the present time. And again, I think that's where the show is at its best. Uh, there's some good Moria stuff going on. I uh, really hope we get to see uh, more of the Thea story because I think that's more important than something they've been sidelining. Um, and Laurel, I don't know. I just, I just don't know. Uh, Sarah and Laurel need to have a discussion. They really do. Um, <laughs> yeah, there, there's something going on uh, with Laurel that needs to be redeemed, and I just don't know if she could be redeemed anymore. I'm just, I want to like Laurel. I really do, but. Every episode, I kind of get angry and angry with her character because I think she has so much potential and then she kind of screws it up. Uh, but please tell me in the comments below what you thought about this episode, um, speculations on what's going to happen next. Um, I think February 26th is the next episode, so I think they're skipping maybe a week or two, so... 
obviously I'll be reviewing the next episode uh, when it does come on. Uh, and hope you guys enjoy. This is Comic Nuno. Again, tell me in the comments below what you thought about this episode. I love this episode. I gotta give it five stars. One of the best episodes of the season. Um, still don't know if it is my favorite. Um, I think my favorite still is uh, when Sarah, uh, when Detective Lance finds out Sarah is still alive. I still think that's my favorite. Uh, but this might be like one of my definitely up there. It's one It's one of my favorites of the season and of the show. So really good episode and hopefully we get more of these Lance episodes uh, and maybe redeem Laurel in the end also. But hope you guys enjoyed. Please tell me in the comments below what you thought and guys don't forget to follow me on Twitter for comic you know and the right situations and don't forget to like my Facebook page and I'll see you guys later. Bye.